Happy New Year today, it's Carlisle versus Port Vale at home. So, uh, yeah, I think this is probably a drawable game. I mean, they've won two out of the five recent games and they're in 14th place in the league. Uh, but, yeah, key players I'd look out for probably Ben Garrett, he scored eight, and uh, Ethan Chisler, he's assisted five. Uh, but, yeah, the defence, I don't think it's that strong. They've conceded 33 goals this season. Uh, but, yeah, ex-players that play for Carlisle now, um, Thomas Oli and Ryan Edmondson, uh, yeah, both players for Port Vale. But yeah, it's a 300 mile round trip for them. But yeah, shout out to George Balmer as well. So I guess I'll see you when I'm heading down. Right, so yeah, now we're on the way. Uh, walking down Warwick Road, uh, but yeah, I want to say a huge thank you for 150 subscribers. It's honestly, it's just amazing because considering I hit 100 maybe a couple of weeks back, yeah, it's just mint. Uh, but yeah, as I say, we're on the way, so yeah, come on. My predictions 1 1 draw. I, I think I've said it already, but yeah, 1 1 draw because as I say, uh, they beat us 1 0 before, uh, they beat us 1 0 before away, but yeah. Uh, I'll see ya when uh, <laughs> I'll see ya when I'm at the match. Right, so I'm in the Warwick. Gabe Breeze is just training here, uh, taking shots again against him because he's starting again. And there's Thomas Orley as well. I wonder how he's. Alright, good. It's looking good though. Obviously, he started the past two games and yeah. I just wonder how Thomas is feeling because obviously he started all last season. Okay, so what's Hiya. your score prediction for today? One nil up the blues, come on! What's yours, Matthew? I'm thinking I've got one more, two, one, up the blues! Score prediction? Probably one nil, two, one, I reckon. Two nil, Carlisle. Right. One one from me, I think. We've got some good players, yeah? Their support is looking pretty decent from Stoke as well. Someone said that we're gonna get battered by them today, so I don't know. I honestly don't know.
lost, aren't they? They're all lost. That's half time, it's nil nil, so that's actually decent, but yeah, half time. Right, so yeah, it's been a decent half, like obviously, we've had a couple of chances, and I think we've been the better team, uh, but yeah, hopefully, we'll get a better second half and we'll get some goals in. Fingers crossed to win, because uh, how we've been playing, and maybe, because I think we've been the better team. And well, we according, according to the league table that I was looking at, apparently, Fleetwood are losing. Oh, so, yeah. I don't, I don't. Yeah, apparently it's second bottom, so at least we're not... I'll have to have a look. At least we're not bottom of the table. And yeah, just... Hopefully we get a win and some, uh, three points. Or at least eight points. There's Luke Armstrong over there. You probably can't see him on here, but yeah. Luke Armstrong. We haven't fully... Well, we've signed him. But he can't play yet, so yeah. That's the second half, come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, Emmanuel. Hey. One. Oh. Port Vale have just scored. It's no one. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame because we've been playing so well. So yeah, hopefully we we'll get some it back. Come on. Robinson. Come on. We're playing good. Even though it's like the 56 minutes. Go on. Go on, Emmanuel. Uh, yes, go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Let's at least get a goal back. Come on. I've got a cow. Come on. Oh. Saying probably not a win at all. Come on, yeah! Yeah! get in a penalty. Come on, Carlo, come on. 
Come on. To get at least a draw. Come on. Please. Come on, give up. Come on. Better score this. Come on. in a 2-1 win finally some points three points that's mint uh but yeah i think we were the better team both both halves uh so first half yeah we had quite a few uh chances but obviously we couldn't get them through in the goal and then second half obviously we had the pen they scored early on yeah uh from that corner but i think there's not gay breeze could do about that and then uh yeah so the corner at the end just mint getting john mellish man of the match but yeah I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh, yeah.